How's it going friends? Reckless Yuki here and this is a little bit of a different video for me. It's a little bit of change of scenery because usually I sit over there where my PC is but today in this video we're going to be sitting in front of Lilikoi's PC and what we're going to focus on in this video is this Hackintosh back here. Basically it's a custom built PC that runs the Mac operating system on it and I built this for Lilikoi maybe about I think two to three years ago, and at the time I installed uh, the OS X Mountain Lion Edition operating system on it, and recently I did an update and I installed the new operating system on it, so now it's running Yosemite. As you see, it's uploaded to the generic basic Yosemite screen here, and there's a few programs that popped up because uh, we've been getting it back up to date and up to speed where, where she was at with her previous operating system. And updating a Hackintosh computer isn't as easy as updating a Apple computer. You just can't hit update and expect everything to work because there's some custom drivers in effect that makes this thing work on a custom built PC. So when you are updating something, you just can't go to the app store and hit update. You have to make sure that the drivers and everything will work for each update. So before Yosemite, this was running Mountain Lion. So, I mean, it's a pretty big step and I think it's a pretty huge improvement on the operating system overall. And I know Lily Koi likes it very much. And this PC is also running Windows 10. So I have it also dual booted with two separate at the SSDs in here. One of them's running the Mac operating system. Then the additional hard drive is one that I had laying around I wasn't really using. So I decided to throw it on here and give her Windows 10 and that's what we have. So we'll go into that, shut it down and restart it just to kind of show you guys that it is possible to have the Mac OS as well as Windows 10 running on the same custom built PC. And this isn't necessarily a tutorial guide by any means because that would be really long, really boring. And I'm not the best person to go into how to make this work because I definitely am not a guru with any of this. I had to go to a website called TonyMacX86.com and that's a fantastic resource that will give you all the information you could possibly need to build something like this for yourself. Um, I remember when I first looked at their website about maybe two to three years ago, if it wasn't for them, I would never have the ambition or the guts to try to attempt something like this because I wouldn't have any idea of where to start or where to start looking. And they have guides on exactly what you need to do to install everything into the PC. They also have build guides to recommend you specific parts that you're going to need in order to build something like this as well because you can't just pick anything. It's not like a Windows system where all anything will work. This is still a custom built PC, but you have to be limited on what you put in there because they have to make specific drivers to make sure that the components do work. Now you could get mostly everything modernized for this, like anything that's you know now and current you could use to build one of these custom Macs but you still want to make sure you go on their website to see that you, whatever you're thinking of to put in a custom build is on the recommended list. And let's start this up again. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more mindful of monitor because there will be a startup screen that I'm gonna press a key in order to just get over to the Windows side. So it's pretty simple. Um, this is all the aftermarket um, programs and basically uh, like this right here is an aftermarket bootloader where I press the button and now I can either go to the Yosemite or to the Windows side. So today or this time we're gonna go to Windows and boot up Windows. There's a logo screen and pretty shortly you'll see Windows 10. If you're curious about what's in here, I mean like I said this is two to three years old so it has a Core i7-3770K, which isn't no slouch, is still a beefy processor. Back then it was a complete beast for you know 1080p rendering and you know editing videos. And it's still a competent processor and there shouldn't be any reason to upgrade from that. Uh, the graphics card in here is a little bit dated. It's a GTX 660Ti, so I mean, it's definitely not anything like a 980Ti or anything like that but it's perfectly fine for this system build. I think in the near future, if I possibly upgrade my graphics cards in my system, I'll give her one of my 980s and that'll definitely be a boost up in this system, especially if we're just doing 1080p. So anyways, so as you can see, this is Windows 10 and it is booted up and uh, you know, the familiar start button or is like the start button here is definitely an improvement over Windows 8.1 and I, Really excited about this operating system. I'm looking forward to possibly getting my system from 8.1 up to Windows 10 in the near future. But the thing that I'm kind of worried about is, you know, the whole privacy piracy or the privacy issues that are kind of floating about with Windows 10 and just kind of seeing how that goes. But regardless of any of that, I have nothing to hide on my hard drive, so I will be upgrading. But still, those things kind of 
irk me a little bit. But anyways, so this is a PC. This is just a demonstration to show you guys that you can do two operating systems. You can run the newest Mac OS and the newest Windows on a single machine. So it is definitely possible. And if you have any questions or any concerns about doing this, definitely head over to TonyMacX86.com because I feel that I'm not you know, proficient enough in this in order to assist anyone because there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one specific things depending on what you decide to build. So there's not like one answer fits everyone. Basically, you have to be competent when you're building a PC. So if you're not very sure of yourself when it comes to building a PC, I definitely wouldn't try to take something like this on. But if you built a PC before and you ran through simple troubleshooting, then this should be like no issue at all. So anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy and I'll talk to you guys again in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.